Okay, so the first step is to create a story mention chatbot flow. So what we're going to do is jump into the account that uh, is linked to the uh, Instagram profile. We're going to go down to the automations tab. And when we're in here, we're going to find new flow. Now we're going to start from scratch. And this is an Instagram flow. So the first thing that we will do is to craft the copy that we would like to respond automatically whenever anybody mentions your page within an Instagram story. Uh, so let me see what I can come up with. Now, for anyone who is new to creating bots, you do have custom user fields, which are down here. So if you just click on this little button, you do have the option for the bot to pick up the user's first name uh, if known, which is great. So we're just gonna pop that down in here. So we have, wow, thanks for the tag. We'd love to share this with our marketing team who may choose to repost this on our social media channels. Is this okay with you first name? So this is a great way for you to be able to collect user generated content and to seek appropriate permissions. Now within the button text, we're going to say, yes, that's great. And for those of you, again, who are new, you can also add in some little emojis down here, quite a basic step, but sharing uh, with you all anyway. And down in here, let's always give people an option to opt out as well. So let's just say prefer you didn't. Um, now, as you can see here as well, you do have text limitations on buttons, but as long as you are just keeping an eye on this number here, you'll be able to see how you are tracking with character spacing. So I do have enough for another emoji and I love emojis. Uh, in this type of marketing. Um, it just makes it a little bit more authentic and quite natural that it is a bit of a chit chat with the business page, um, like a human would actually respond. So to those uh, people who give permission, let's just say thanks. Excellent. Thanks. I'm going to keep this as a very simple message because th that flow will actually lead into the next step of the funnel. So for now, let's just keep it nice and simple and prefer you didn't. No problem. That is OK. We're not here to hound people. It's always about um, creating a nice user experience and connection with the brand and the consumers. So let's just leave that. No problem. Um, chat soon. Okay, now how does your bot know to automatically trigger this? Now, unlike a lot of the other growth tools, which you would typically find here, this setup needs to occur within the settings section that you're going to find down here. So let's first publish this or set live. Uh, which is the new terminology ManyChat has on their interface. And we're going to go down into settings just down here. We want to update within the channels. So we're going to click on channels. And just down in here, we have the settings story mention reply. Now this is going to be select existing. So we're just going to find the flow for where we saved that, which is just here. And we're going to select that flow. Now, once that happens, it is automatically live, which is uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, for those who uh, may want to have some conditional logic that is in place so that people aren't bombarded every single time uh, that they mention you in a story, you can now go back into your flow and you can set this up. So do you want to send it every single time or do you just want to send a message once every 24 hours? Uh, for those who are mindful of creating a really genuine and authentic experience, an extra advanced step that you may consider is jumping into your edit flow. Let's just move these over so it's nice and neat and tidy. And you can also add randomizers too. So you might say a randomizer that's in here. And you might say this is the particular copy or phrase that you want to be returned the first time. Uh, and you might have another phrase that you would like to use the next time. So uh, it could be 
um, appreciate the tag. Um, we'd love to share this on our socials. Is that okay with you? First name. Um, now you can create lots of different variables uh, with that as well, just so that every single time a person is engaging, it is a unique experience. Um, I like to keep my bot flows nice and tidy. So even though technically you could bring this over here, I prefer to just duplicate because I like to be able to easily identify where the button is taking the user into the next form of the conversation. So as I mentioned, you can use the randomizer and you can add in more variations in there as well to keep the conversation nice and authentic. So let's just update this and we need to go to our trigger and we need to turn it on. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, so the next part of this flow is going to be a conditional logic flow that checks if the user or the user who has tagged you in their story is following your account. Uh, now, if they are already following your account, we're not going to communicate anything over and above that excellent message which was programmed in the story mention flow. But if they aren't, we're going to automatically send them a message that invites them to stay connected with you. So let me show you how to do that. So we click up into new flow. We're gonna start from scratch. And in this instance, we're going to start the flow with conditional logic. So up here, you have some options and it says, does the contact match any of the following conditions? But what is that condition we're trying to check? So if you click on this little green button that's up here that says condition, it'll open up each of the options that are available to you. Now we're going to scroll down to Instagram and we are going to check, is this person following our business page on Instagram? Now, as I mentioned, if they already are, we're not going to program a response to this because it was already programmed in the story flow reply. But if they aren't, we're going to seize this opportunity of being able to connect with this individual who's already had a great experience and shared some UGC or user-generated content on their social media channels. And we're gonna say, stay connected with us. So we're just gonna add a little arrow that's here and we're going to select an Instagram reply. And we can type something along the lines of, we notice that you're not following us on Instagram yet. Let's change that. Now down on the button below, we can say something like tap to follow us uh, and we can connect in the URL uh, to the Instagram page just by clicking open website. We'll just go over to Instagram and we'll copy the URL and we will just drop it down in here. And that will then guide the user through to this particular web page. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give them a little bit of time uh, and we're going to come back and we're going to check, did they actually follow us? So we'll add a little tag that's in here and we could say something along the lines of um, requested follow. We'll just make that a new tag and we'll go down here to next step and we're going to add a smart delay. So a smart delay essentially means that when people reach this point, we want to give it some time before we send the next message. So in this particular instance, let's give them 10 minutes. So we might say 10 minutes down here. And the conditional logic will be, it's only going to check if somebody has followed 
uh, your Instagram profile if they've tapped this button. If they haven't tapped this button, it's probably going to be um, quite annoying for the end user to receive a follow-up message when they ignored you the first time. So let's just program this to be able to connect with people who took the explicit action to follow you and we'll just see how they went with that. So we're saying wait 10 minutes. The conditional logic will be does this tag apply? So does the tag apply is requested follow. And now we're only going to send this message if somebody has the tag. So we know that somebody has clicked uh, to follow you. And now we're going to say, action again we're going to click that into another condition that's in here because now we just want to see did they actually follow us so we're going to scroll down again and we're going to see are they following our business page yet let's go into instagram and we're going to say thanks for following us and if they aren't we can drop them another message that's down in here to say, how did you go with following our page? First name, remember you can come down into the custom user fields again. And we'll just ask this, do you need any help? Um, yes, please help or uh, not interested. It's always good to give a positive and a negative option. Okay, so yes, please help. Now you can either choose then to just jump in manually or for those of us who just like to keep the conversations as automated for as much as possible, you can bring it down in here. Um, no problem. No problem, a first name. It's as simple as tapping the button below and you will be redirected to our Instagram account. Once you land on the page, tap follow. And let's give them that again. So just say visit IG profile and we're going to add that URL in again. Now you can continue that process by adding the conditional logic and the smart delays and continually checking um, or you can just leave it as a single follow up. In our experience, we always recommend um, to just follow up once. You don't want to be too spammy. As soon as you start um, annoying people, people will just disengage and that is not what you want not interested, we need to have a reply back to that. No problem. Um, and just leave it at that. Okay, and then you'll say set live. So this here is the next step to this uh, flow. And we will actually go back and we're going to attach this flow to the story mention reply. Okay, so we are back. Let's rename this particular flow. So this here was the follow logic flow. And I'm going to show you how to connect that into the story mention flow. So you may recall, we created a couple of different random responses to be able to automatically reply to anybody who mentions you in their story. Now, if people are saying that they uh, prefer that you didn't, that's completely okay. Um, and likewise, if they are happy for you to share their UGC, that's great. So what we wanna do now is we wanna bring them into that follow logic flow, because if people have connected with you, we're trying to seize the opportunity to stay in touch with them with our brand content as much as possible. So what we're going to do is add this little button that's down here that says, after people reach this point, let's go next step. And we're gonna say start flow. And now we are going to select the follow logic flow. 
and we can attach each of these. As I mentioned to you before, we could just connect all of these into that single flow, but I like my flows to be nice and neat. So I just duplicate just so that when I am looking, it's very clear uh, in terms of we, where the buttons are going in the pathways of comms and we will just publish. So in terms of the user journey now for stage one, a person will visit your establishment or interact with your product offering. They may choose to share uh, an image or a video within their stories and tag you in that. So the bot will come through and it will automatically thank them and acknowledge the tag. It will also ask for permission for you to be able to use that content within your marketing strategy. And additionally, it will then ask anybody who isn't following your Instagram account to follow you.